come on, still in the business of answering our questions. I've seen a lot of women in particular sending me a DM like, no, Miss Mary, I need a male child. I need a male child. I need a male child. What should I do? They keep on blaming themselves. Anyway, good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference and I make learning easy and accessible for all my students. Today, I'm going to be sharing with us about the male child and how it's been formed. Should the ladies be blamed or should the men be blamed? So you don't sit down and start blaming a lady for being able, for being um, unable to give birth to a male child or you start blaming the lady like she's always giving birth to a female child. Where are all the males in our womb? Did she sell all the males child in our womb to somebody? No. So I'm going to be explaining, giving you some brief explanation of what forms a male child and what forms a female child you get. But before we go into details, if you are new on our YouTube channel, Please click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is me saying thank you. Let's go there. Alright, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be sharing with us how a male child is being formed and also how a female child is being formed. So we don't end up putting this full accusation on the female like the African culture normally do. Yeah, we all know the African culture. When a woman keep giving birth to five female children, yet there is no male. Six female children, yet there is no male. Everybody blame the female counterpart. They blame the woman, neglecting the fact that it is not her fault because they don't really know the knowledge behind it. As a woman, my egg... Is an XS chromosome. XS chromosome. But as a man, the man's sperm is either an X or Y chromosome. Me, I'm XX chromosome. The man is XY chromosome. So for me as a lady to give birth to a male child, it all depends on what the man placed inside of me. So if the man actually placed in me his X chromosome, I can't perform magic. Definitely my child is going to be a female. So nobody should blame me. But if the man plays in me his Y chromosome, definitely a baby boy is going to come out. So why blame the lady? Who is who, who, who are we going to blame in this situation? I guess we should blame the men. So we should ask them where they kept all their Y chromosomes. So it's more or less like a male thing, not a female thing. So it all depends on what the man gives the woman. That is what the woman brings out. We all know that women tend to multiply what the man gives them. So if a, during sexual intercourse, what finally fertilizes my egg is the X chromosome. I, as a lady, I'm going to be giving birth to a girl child. If it is the Y chromosome that fertilizes my egg, I'm going to be giving birth to um, the, the male child. So it's not a matter of the ladies are to be blamed. I'm not saying the men are to be blamed. In some, what I'm saying is that the men are the sole determinant. Scientists have proven it. It's scientifically proven that the men are the sole determinant of the sex of a child. So what the man inserts into the woman determines the sex of a child. I am a woman. There's nothing I can do about it. I can't change it. I am XX. X X, as you can see on the screen. He is a man. He cannot change it. He's XY. So what you should be praying for is that the Y chromosome should be inside. He should, he should put the Y chromosome inside of you so that you can give birth to a male child. Do you understand? So I can say from my own perspective, I can say giving birth to a male child or a female child is more or less like a 50-50% or more. When compared to female <laughs> so you don't have to blame us all right thank you very much i hope this video helped you explain why you as a man should not blame your wife for giving you a female child so all you should be praying as a man is god let my sperm be why that will enter my wife and i'll give birth to a female child yeah anyway i hope it helps you understand it better for the wives, if you are watching this video, kindly forward this video to your husband so he sees it and stop blaming you for the female child. Thank you very much for watching my video. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Don't forget to like, 
don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share with your friend if you got value somebody is coughing at the background i guess you know who don't forget to subscribe if you got value um to all my returning subscribers like i always say i'm saying thank you and if you are a nursing student you've not registered for our classes on telegram you are missing a lot all you have to do is to send a message to the whatsapp number showing on your screen thank you very much and have a wonderful day ahead see you in our next video Bye.